Hi, I'm Blakely and I'm here to inspire you to get in the kitchen and eat healthy and fuel your body with delicious food. I'm gonna make it easy and fun. I love to surf, I love to do yoga, I love to dance, but more importantly, I love to cook healthy and fresh food raw, whole food, and I'm gonna inspire you and teach you how to make this quick and easy. I'm here to inspire you to get in the kitchen with me and learn how to cook delicious and healthy food. Come on, let's go. How's it going? I'm here today to teach you how to make almond milk. It's quick, it's easy, and it's delicious, and it's really good for you. You know the stuff in the grocery store and the plastic jug? It's full of hormones and it's pasteurized. I'm not gonna drink it, I'm gonna drink this. Here's the lowdown. Almond milk, it's full of vitamins, it's full of minerals. It's got vitamin D, vitamin E, magnesium and zinc, no sodium and no cholesterol. Here are the ingredients, okay? So we have unsalted raw almonds. Organic variety is better, but if you have the regular, that's great. Vanilla extract, cinnamon. I have some local raw honey. Buy the local stuff. Don't buy the stuff in the honey bear from China. Wait, guys, give me that. This stuff, don't get it, all right? Get your local stuff, here, take that back. And the last ingredient is Himalayan sea salt, also known as pink salt. So what is it? Himalayan sea salt creates this alkaline environment in our body, optimum water levels, so that we can actually absorb the nutrients from our food. Okay, so now let's get started. We have two cups of almonds that I've soaked overnight. You wanna soak them for at least six hours. You wanna bring these babies back to life. Um, by soaking them, you release the enzyme inhibitors that are in the skin. It just allows the nut to be more readily available. It means we are gonna get the optimum nutrition from this nut by soaking it, okay? So you wanna soak them for at least six hours, bring them back to life, get rid of the enzyme inhibitors, wash them, clear, wash them of that liquid that you've been soaking them overnight. And then we are gonna go ahead and make almond milk. For every cup of almonds, you're gonna do three cups of filtered water. Filter your water. You don't wanna have all the chlorine and the fluoride that they put in our water. So filter your water um, or use alkaline water, whatever you have. Okay, so we have it in the blender. Here we go. Blend it. It's easy as that. I'm gonna empty the nut pulp into a bowl um, so that the milk doesn't flow all over us. And here we go, that's the end of that. Going to squeeze out the rest of the milk. Get your muscles in there. This is our milk. And we are gonna flavor this milk with a little cinnamon, vanilla, honey. Now let's do one more. I'm feeling like I want something sweet today. I don't measure, I'm not much of a baker, but I just go by instinct. And it's one of those things, get in the kitchen, get dirty, touch your food, start figuring out what you like. If you like it sweet, if you like it salty, just get in with it, have fun, get in there with the kids, bring in your friends. A little sprinkle of Himalayan sea salt. And then we're gonna blend that. All right, our milk is ready. So this is our base, this is our canvas, and we're about to create some delicious things. The first thing is our morning vibrant smoothie. It's green, it's delicious, it's full of fruit and veggies, protein. You got it all in one shake. You're gonna start your day off awesome. You're gonna be feeling great, be present throughout your day. Another thing we can make from our almond milk. It's a power cereal that you can grab in the morning. It'll keep you going, it's full of nutrients full of energy and it tastes delicious. You're gonna start with some rolled oats and some chia seeds. And chia seeds are a Mayan superfood and they're really hydrating, they're high in antioxidants, high in omega-3s and omega-6. Um, lots of fiber, protein, they're just, it's chock full of ingredients and you only need a little bit. They're expensive to buy right up front but you only need a little bit at a time. You can add them to smoothies, you can add them to your cereals and they've got like a pudding-like texture, kind of like tapioca. We've mixed the chia seeds and the oats and the almond milk, a little lemon and Himalayan sea salt, stirred it around, that's good to go. Now we're gonna do the topping. This is amazing, it's so easy and it's delicious. We're gonna do um, one, so we've got blueberries and strawberries and we're gonna do about one tablespoon of honey and do that. 
And we're gonna do some orange zest. You wanna use organic um, oranges because you're gonna be using the outside of the orange. And this is a microplane, which I love. It's awesome. You can use this for cheese or for zesting fruit. And then you can flavor this with anything you want. You can put cardamom, cinnamon, clove, a little bit of vanilla, um, some cinnamon. And then we're gonna use our muddle and just mash it up and get down and dirty in there. Oops, flying berries. Yeah, I'm a mess. Things are flying. Get your hands dirty. Get in there. Okay. So once that's mashed up a little bit. Ooh, it smells good already. All right, I'm gonna clean up here. This, you know, this is gonna be overnight. I did one that I soaked overnight last night. And we're gonna layer it. I have pumpkin seeds, um, sunflower seeds, and coconut. So we're gonna layer the um, soaked oats and chia seeds, and then we're gonna put, this is a little bit of the, the berry mixture, and then we're gonna put a little bit of, we're making a little parfait here. And you can make this the night before, and then you grab it the next morning. Give this a little crunch. I mean, this is amazing, like after a surf, after a ski, after a big workout. There we go. We're gonna top it with some more crunch. And just give it a little try. Mmm. It's delicious. And you can add more honey or salt or whatever you're feeling. But look at that. That is just like delicious. All the biggest athletes in the world are eating this way. It's not a diet, it's a lifestyle change. Your body will start to crave these foods. They're whole foods little processing and it's amazing the benefits you will feel not only in your body but in your mind the clarity you'll feel every day and the more present you become in your daily life the more effects and changes you can make in this world